Birmingham is now known as a new foodie city and moms just don't have time to cook. So if you're looking for some local down home Southern cuisine, then pull up a chair for Dining Out with Comedian Joy. That's right, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes us to some of the best places to eat in Birmingham and its surrounding cities. So whether you're on 2059 East or West or 65 North or South or 459 or somewhere in between, Dining Out with Comedian Joy is about to tip your tummy and make those taste buds water. So if you like your meat three in a brick and mortar or in a gas station, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes you to some of the best spots in town. This segment is brought to you by Alabama Coasting, your resource to the best of the Gulf Coast. Look them up online, alcoasting.com. Mobile, Alabama is the birthplace of Mardi Gras. That celebration kicks off about two weeks in the busy streets of downtown Mobile. They even have this Mardi Gras museum that's open to the public. And there will be plenty of moon pies, beads, and trinkets that will be thrown during the festivities. But the culinary scene is unbelievable in the port city. There's delicious local eats from fresh Gulf seafood, to barbecue, to brunch, to shrimp and grits, plus all kinds of food made with moon pies. So Mobile has something for everyone so whether you're going to Mobile for Mardi Gras or visiting family and friends like myself or just coming to play, come and celebrate Mobile in this week's Dining Out with Comedian Joy. So when it comes to finding delicious Mobile restaurants, I turn to my good friend here, David Calamette with Alabama Coastal Magazine. Yeah, Joy, we've had such a great time showing you all the really fantastic places to have dinner and have lunch in Mobile. It's been really fun. But now I'm getting ready to show you one of my favorite places, the Blind Mule. Their shrimp and grits is shrimp and everything in the kitchen and grits, and it's to die for. Let's go eat. Let's go. Hi, my name's Ed Walker. I'm the owner of the Blind Mule and I'm gonna cook some shrimp and grits for you. The Blind Mule Restaurant and Bar is one of downtown Mobile's coolest spots to eat. Not only is it filled with electric art, but the patio is also a great place to unwind. The Blind Mule owner, Ed Walker, has an award-winning recipe for shrimp and grits. Uh, we're gonna start a little oil, kinda of get it going, get a nice warm saute pan. Add some green peppers, a little red onion actually, and some kaneka sausage from right up the road. And make it go a little bit, saute that. Some of the seasonings that Ed uses for his mixture is a little bit of thyme and some garlic, and then he tosses it around until it's good and sauteed. And a little sriracha. It's going to be our heat. All right, now this is the fun part. A little bit of white wine for the shrimp and grits. A little white wine for the cook. And after watching Ed do that, maybe I should become a chef. Mm. Top it off with some heavy cream. All right, now while that's reducing, add our Parmesan grits. Make sure you get all the vegetables, all the shrimp, kanaka. Top it with a little Parmesan. There you are. Shrimp and grits from the blind mule. Dig in. Bon All right. Tea. All right, guys. Hey, we're going to treat this like church. This is going to be community eat because I can't wait to sample this. And I love all the creamy sauce that was in there because your garlic has smelled incredible. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. I may have to come down here and get, buy some shrimp and grits from you and some of your garlic. I use the cheap kind at home, but you got the good stuff. Oh, thank you, Joy. <laughs> But I really like the way all your flavors come together with the onions and the peppers in here, and of course with the Alabama good old Connecticut sausage. You can't beat that Connecticut sausage. 
right up the road, about an hour and a half. It's the best thing, uh, best thing in Alabama. Surely, it, it's a game changer when it comes to comes food. I believe so too. This is just such a great marriage of all the different flavors and the freshness and you know the the, the specific taste of the kaneka and the specific of the shrimp. It just it all is. It's just a beautiful dish. And your sauce is so killer. Thank you, David. Hey, do you have to have any bread so I can sop this sauce uh, up? I'll have to go back and find some. Man. I'm sure we do. Listen, we cannot leave this sauce on the plate. This is killer stuff right here. This is incredible. It's good. It's really good. Cheers. 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 Y'all come out here and check out the Blind Mule right here in Mobile, Alabama. After the break, I'm going to show you something off of the brunch menu, and then we'll make a stop at the bar. you got to find out what's in that glass. So stay tuned to Dining Out with Comedian Joy in Mobile, Alabama. Has a big box pharmacy stop accepting your insurance? No worries. Transfer your prescription today at Weldon's Pharmacy, located in the heart of Hueytown. Weldon's Pharmacy accepts all Blue Cross and Blue Shield plans. Weldon's also does compounding and other specialty medications. Weldon's has been providing fast, friendly customer service since 1960. When you bring in your prescription, you can also shop for other gifts, gift wrapping, or your football paraphernalia six days a week. Now mention this ad for $5 off the purchase of $30 or more. Before the break, my good friend David Calamani with Alabama Coasting Magazine took us to the Blind Mule restaurant in Mobile, Alabama. We looked at the owner's award-winning shrimp and grits, but something else that's pretty popular on the menu are his loaded nachos along with his red beans and rice. But on the weekends, he has a brunch menu where he makes this pancakes and chicken, but instead of using milk, it's made with orange juice. Oh, well, it was just something that we threw together. It's kind of our take on a uh, chicken and waffle. We do a Sunday brunch, and uh, this is one of our features on Sunday brunch. Uh, we do a pickled brine chicken, uh, a couple of flapjacks made with a little, little orange juice for flavor. Orange juice in your pancakes? And your pancakes, How boy. Cool yes. is that? Yeah, pretty. Uh, it's just a little something different. And then we top it off with a fried egg and a uh, chipotle honey uh, drizzle on the chicken. And I, uh, you know, try it out. That pickle brine really comes out. Now look, I get you. I have eaten a lot of chicken in my day because everybody knows that's my favorite food. But the honey that's on top of this chicken and that in that pickle brine, it is amazing. Yeah, it's uh, just different layers, different flavors. You know, we try to offer something a little different. That might be some of the best pancakes I've ever had. Oh, I love the orange juice, the citrus flavor, and it really brings out the flavor. So you telling me that if I'm run out of milk and water with my pancakes, I can just add orange juice? Just add orange juice. That's now, it. how cool is that? That's, that's really cool. it, yeah. Now, I grew up making up recipes, but I've never tried that. But you know what? I think I'm going to try it now. Or you can just come here to the Blind Mute and get yourself a brunch every <laughs> Sunday. Secrets out. <laughs> With all the artwork of mules all over the restaurant and the name, I was curious and I had to ask Ed, how did you come up with the name, Blind Mule? Okay, so the building was gray and it kind of reminded us of a mule and uh, so we said, well, it kind of looks blind, so let's call it the Blind Mule and it'll be a, you know, building, smuggling something, a community, uh, uh, good food, uh, good drinks. Ed is not only a great cook, but he's also a great bartender. Now, I have to admit, this drink he made for me made me want to hold my mule. Uh, we're going to make a Snapdragon, one of our specialty drinks in the mule. We do a half shot of tequila. All right. Half shot of Malibu. A little squirt of Sriracha. Top it off with a little bit of pineapple juice. There we go. Uh, give it a little shake. There we are. Joy, tell me what you think about the Snapdragon. That's a little interesting. It got a little sweet to it, but I can definitely taste the sriracha. 
And uh, the more I'm talking, I do taste the little spices dancing on the back of my tongue over here. Yeah, this is a good drink that keeps you wide awake when you drive it back to Birmingham. That's right. <laughs> but I do love the pineapple flavor in here. Yeah, a little sweet, a little spicy. Yeah. 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 Is this the blonde mule that's kicking me? That's right. Because <laughs> it may make me blonde. Right. <laughs> so come down here and check out my friend Ed and all the delicious eats and the drinks here at the blonde mule in Mobile, Alabama. Do you need some gut busting laughter that you, your kids, and your pastor can listen to and enjoy? We get Comedian Joy, the Queen of Queens' newest DVD live at the Stardome. But y'all, one, one of my favorite all-time televangelists is Joe Osteen. Anybody like Brother Joe? Y'all miss some Joe Osteen. I'm telling you, every time I listen to Joe, I feel like I can speed and hoover and won't even get a tea. If you are married, if you're single, even if you're looking for love, Comedian Joy has some tips for you. If you go to church, she's talking about you. All of us know Jesus was the only person who walked the earth and didn't sin. But I'm figuring it out. Say, why, Joy? Because he wasn't married and didn't have kids. Don't you know them two combinations make you want to sin? Buy your copy of Live at the Stardom now at www.joythequeenofclean.com. That's www.joythequeenofclean.com. Get it because it's on sale now. That's precious. Marriage would be great if they didn't have stuff in your vows like to death do your part, wouldn't it? Don't you want your vows to be like till you get on my last nerves? Because it's precious. That's www.joythequeenofclean.com. Get it because it's on sale now. That's precious. Well, I'm not ashamed to tell the world that I am a true Mediterranean. And when I'm here in my hometown of Mobile, Alabama, we're known for Mardi Gras. We're also known for the beaches. But whatever occasion that you're here for in Mobile and you want some delicious, hearty smoked meat, I'm talking about a hungry man sized meal, there's only one place that I'd like to recommend, and that's here with my friends over here at Meat Boss of Cotta Chill Road. I'm Benny Chinnis, I'm the Meat Boss. And I'm Darren Chinnis, and I'm Mrs. Meat Boss. Meat Boss is Mobile's newest family-owned brown bag breakfast and lunch spot. They use a low-take method for taking orders, but it's what's inside the bag that always decode to something good. We wanted something that we could move and didn't want to go computerized, so we came up with a clothespin and a clothesline. Now, if you can't decide what you want for breakfast, forget the pig in a blanket. At Meat Boss, you can get the whole hog. Blanket is a huge pancake, and you got a piece of ham, a piece of Koneka sausage, a piece of patty sausage, and some bacon. And all wrapped up in a pancake. And as you can see, this is no ordinary size of breakfast. It's actually as big as a hog excited about this hog in a blanket so is it best to cut it and dip it in there or do I pour the syrup all over? I would pour it on top and just dig it. That is the most popular sausage we have. What you think? Mm-hmm. Two thumbs up. Oh, this is incredible right here. Listen, I just got to get another bite. Anytime there's bacon involved, I can't stop with this. Absolutely. Oh, this is incredible. Good. I'm glad you enjoy yourself. Oh yeah. Yeah, listen, by the time this show goes off, I will have finished this. This is good right here. May need a nap afterwards, but yeah, it'll be worth have, it. Do you have a bath? We can take care of you in the back. Well, I appreciate it because I'm gonna need it. Hog in the blanket. I save some room for lunch. I always have room for lunch. And if the hog in a blanket is too big for you, they also have a variety of breakfast wraps and biscuits. Um, anything on a biscuit is fabulous here. <laughs> and you can get any of our meats in there. We do our ham, we do both the Koneka and patty sausage. We do um, brisket, butt, chicken, uh, chicken wrap. If you want something a little healthier, that's good. Now you had this for breakfast? Absolutely. Heavens, this is, this tastes like lunch or dinner. <laughs> Everything's big here at the Meat Boss. Now, that's the kind of breakfast you want to get when you're trying to go to sleep at work right here. If you don't want your boss talking to you, you need to order this wrap right here. 
And if you don't believe me about how good the food is at Meat Boss, check out their wall of fame. So after the break, I'm gonna show you what's on the lunch and catering menu at Meat Boss in Mobile, Alabama. Classy Boutique, for all your high fashion jewelry needs. Classy Boutique sells only the best in high fashion women and men's jewelry, accessories, and women's clothes. Classy Boutique, helping you find the style you want at a price you'll love. Located in Forestdale Square off Highway 78. Call them at 205-335-5176. That's 335-5176. Or visit them online at theclassyboutique.com. Before the break, I took you to Meat Boss in Mobile, Alabama and showed you items off the breakfast menu. Now, I want to show you what they're most known for, and that's those huge catering orders. It's like a brown bag lunch, brown bag breakfast, so you can either take out to the table or take it out to your car and go. Probably one of our biggest parts of our business is the whole meats. Um, if you're having a party and you need some pans of meat or pans of beans, pans of, you know, uh, sides, um, we do a lot of that, a lot of that for tailgating, Mardi Gras parades. But if you want to dine in for lunch, you have got to get in there early. This place packs out very quickly, and most people told me that they like to come in for his delicious white barbecue sauce. So I got the wrap with the sweet and spicy and the white sauce. Delicious. With white sauce, it's so good. And when it comes to the meat on the grill, Mr. Meat Boss has found a secret way to make sure the brisket is nice and juicy every time. Because we don't, it's very tender and it stays very juicy because we don't trim it before we cook it. We leave the fat cap on there so all that fat renders down into the meat, keeps it good and moist. You want to try some of this? Of course I want to try some of it. I wish he would just give me the whole thing. He ought to know by now I'm greedy. Look, I like the way that this pull apart like the juicy roast. Oh man. Is that good? This is great. I'm gonna need some of that sauce off the wall for this. Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> we'll make a sandwich with it. Heck yeah, let's go do it. Mr. Meat Boss smokes his briskets for about 18 hours on the grill before chopping them into his famous brisket sandwiches that's topped off with his homemade sauces. Yummy, yummy. Awesome. Homemade awesome sauce. It's totally awesome. It's totally awesome. And, um,. I'm a guy that really likes the barbecue, so you know when I go out and eat barbecue, I'm very critical. But I give him two thumbs up. Besides the delicious barbecue at Meat Boss, he also has some incredible sides. Uh, the beans have our Boston butt and have some of our barbecue sauce. Okay, so what is this? Uh, this is our Asian coleslaw. It's a balsamic vinegar-based coleslaw. Uh, it's got ramen noodles and sunflower seeds in it. Traditional coleslaw is made with our white sauce. Everybody likes potato salad though. Everybody likes potato salad. Ours is a little different. We use red skin potatoes and it's a mayo base. And you taste oh, a little bit different in the, uh, the uh, pickles. Oh yeah, this is some good stuff. We use bread and butter pickles in ours. Now let me ask you, is this your secret recipe? It's pretty secret. You want to tell one of the secrets in my ear? <gasps> But I, guess what? I bet y'all come here to the meat boss and get me some of this. I bet you can. And we sell that also by the pan. It starts about 16 or, and we sell a lot of it. Oh, this, this is our second, stuff. this is our second most popular dish. This is really good. Yeah. Can't stop <laughs> You have to come to Meat Boss at least once a week. I'm not from down here, but I moved here for school, and it's become a weekly tradition for us, for sure. And the desserts at Meat Boss are just as amazing as the entrees. Wait, let me see your cup of banana pudding. It's all gone now. That's, that's all you need to see. <laughs> so what do you really think of the banana pudding here at Meat Boss? It's Tracy gone. And <laughs> Try red pudding. Man, I saw that coming off the grill, and I want to try your bread pudding because it looked incredible. 
Oh, perfect. That good? That's good right here. Listen, you better be glad your wife in here. Otherwise, I'll let her kiss on you. This stuff is good right here. Thanks. Next time you're in Mobile, stop in at Meat Boss on Cottage Hill Road, where their slogan is, we got lunch in the bag. Quincy? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Has a big box pharmacy stop accepting your insurance? No worries. Transfer your prescription today at Weldon's Pharmacy, located in the heart of Hueytown. Weldon's Pharmacy accepts all Blue Cross and Blue Shield plans. Weldon's also does compounding and other specialty medications. Weldon's has been providing fast, friendly customer service since 1960. When you bring in your prescription, you can also shop for other gifts, gift wrapping, or your football paraphernalia six days a week. Now mention this ad for $5 off a purchase of $30 or more. Growing up in Mobile, we always ate moon pies during Mardi Gras. But did you know you can cook some amazing things with moon pies? Last week, I took you to the Moon Pie General Store in Mobile, Alabama, where they not only sell moon pies and other nostalgic items, but they also make a lot of food that's used with moon pies. The Moon Pie Burger is made basically like any other burger. Once the patty is ready, they put some bacon that has been caramelized with RC Cola. You remember that used to be a staple when Moon Pies first came out. Then they put some grilled onions on it and then wedge that between a top and a bottom of a Moon Pie. And you could actually get the Moon Pie of your choice. Billy, what do you think about our Moon Pie Burgers? I can't wait to try this because I have never in my life heard of a Moon Pie Burger. Been eating Moon Pies all my life. But... Oh, that's actually good right there. Look, you got the chocolate and you got the salty. Y'all know I love my soft and sweet. But that hell was up, it's so good. I just gotta lick my fingers. Well, that's good right there. And if you have just a little bit of room left in your tummy, you can also get a fried Moon Pie. First, you uh, get whatever moon pie you're gonna get. You put it in the, uh, the batter. You dip it down in here. Real good. Is this a pancake batter? Yeah, pancake batter. It's really, it's really, really thick. Real thick. So you drop it in here. And you can cook on one side for a few seconds. <clears throat> Then cook one side until it get golden brown. And once the strawberry moon pie is fully cooked, then it is topped with some powdered sugar and then some ice cream and a little bit of chocolate syrup. Mmm. -mm. There you go. Deep fried moon pie. What you think about the deep fried moon pie? A deep fried moon pie. Now I saw you making that and I think I'm about to inhale about a thousand calories. Oh, that's actually good. That's a fried strawberry moon pie. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty good about that. I'm, I'm about to go in and get some of this ice cream too. How did I know you can do all this stuff with a moon pie? You got burgers, you got ice cream, mm -hmm. make it for a dessert. Man, this all right here. Yeah. Real good. Yeah, you did that. Moon pie, Mobile, Alabama. It took my mind, didn't it? And if a fried moon pie isn't your thing, how about a banana pudding made with moon pies? Stay tuned. After the break, I will show you more of their traditional items at the Moon Pie General Store in Mobile, Alabama. Hey, this is John Witherspoon. I enjoy dining out with comedian Joy. Joy! Every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen, Joy. Eating up all the food. All the chitlins, all the collard greens, all the pig feet, all the hog malls. <laughs> Before the break, I showed you some of the adventurous food from the Moon Pie General Store in Mobile, like the Moon Pie Burger and the Fried Moon Pie. But if you prefer something a little bit more traditional, then you probably will like their top selling breakfast item. Um, we also do a great breakfast burrito with Koneka sausage in it. They make a burrito using some chopped Koneka sausage, some eggs and some cheese. Let it melt on the grill and it is time to eat. 
Oh, you gotta come back to Mobile and try our connect sauce burrito. Did you say connect the sausage? Connect Dude, sauce I'm thinking about not leaving. I love making some connect the sausage. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Connect the sausage. Right on. I'm watching. This thing here? Oh, there's all of that right here. Connect the sausage is a game thing. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Connect the sauce burrito, Mobile, Alabama. Moon by June. Man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now y'all don't put no moon pies in here, do you? Nah, no moon pies. When I found out they had my favorite food, chicken wings, I thought I was gonna drop the camera. I heard you like chicken wings. So since you in Mobile and Mobile General Store, Moon Pie General Store, we gonna cook you some of these famous wings and just see can we get you to lick your fingers on these homemade sauces, that in-house sauce. Let's see, bat them up. Season batter is very good. Then we take and put it in the batch to get most of the batter off of it. Chef Rock cooked up a batch of his chicken wings for me. I'm really not sure how he knew that was my weakness. And then he tossed it in this sweet heat sauce and it was finger licking good. Joy, we have the wings here and they very good wings. I would like you to try. Now Rock, when you started cooking them chicken wings, you know I got happy. Oh, Lord. Hey, the sauce right here is killer. You did this. Look, I, I'm almost having a lost the word. This sauce right here, this is like a sweet chili sauce. That get it right, sweet chili? No, this is a uh, sweet heat sauce. Mm. That Mobile out of my Moon Pie store. So hold up, y'all got Moon Pie burgers, hot dog. Burritos and chicken wings. Yes. Who else ain't got moon pie? Listen. The sweet heat sauce is here. Listen, y'all know how chicken is my weakness. I'm, I really can't wait for this segment to be over because you know what? It's about to be a basket full of bones here. Yep, those chicken wings were just that good. And here's what some others had to say about the food. Yeah, best French fries I've ever put in my mouth. Yeah. I mean, they perfect amount of salt, perfect amount of crunch. My favorite thing is the Mobile Burger. Oh, okay, it's the best hamburger in town. It's juicy, fresh ground meat with your choice of cheese and a great big old bun, and it's just fresh and good. And the fries are like the old-fashioned fries. In case you're wondering, you can still get the Redneck Six Pack, which consists of Moon Pies and RC Cola. Also want to say happy birthday, Moon Pie Store, as they turn 100 years old. Well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of Dining Out with Comedian Joy. And if you need more information on any of the segments you've seen today, simply go to my website. That's DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com, DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com. Now, if you have a restaurant and want to be featured, give me a call. That number is 205-482-6999, 205-482-6999. And remember, the places that I take you, the food is so good and make you want to lay down. Now, if you eat too much like I do sometimes, you need to come over here to Weldon's Pharmacy and see my good friends over here. They'll take care of all your needs, your heartburn, your indigestion, your gout, your diabetes, all your pharmaceutical needs. And when you tell them that you saw it on Down and Out with Comedian Joy, they'll give you $5 off your $30 purchase. They're located right here in the heart of Hilltown. Like to see you here, and we'll see you next week on Dining Out with Comedian Joy.